Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and I'm here with episode 42. Hey, you know, it's the answer to the universe. Uh, episode 42 of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. In the previous episode, we picked up some new quests. We picked up part two of Arniel's Endeavor, which requests us to acquire a staff. I don't think we're doing that one at the moment, but we'll be doing that in just a second. We're doing Onman's request, which again is to find another staff. You know, it's Enthir who loves his staffs. Or Steve's, is that what they call plural? And we have Jazargo's experiment where we need to test out his spell that he's given us, well, some scrolls he's been working on, on some undead, which we need to bump into. We also did Brilliant's practice. So pretty much we're just working on some co the college side quests that we can do at the moment. We're also, as part of this, doing our first miscellaneous quest for Winterhold, which is a kind of... And then elongated one, which is to kind of find, I think, she's called Isabel, I think. The girlfriend of, like, the local drunk. Which ties into the Hobbs Fall Cave area, which is where we're going to find uh, one of the staffs, Steve's, whatever, for one of the College of Winter quests. I can't quite remember which one it was, but I'm pretty sure it's for Onman's request, that staff. So, we are about to head into... Hobbs Fall Cave to locate both Isabel, hopefully, and one of the sta one of the staff. Well, the staff. So let's go. I don't think it's too big an area, to be honest. I think it's quite a short one. Oh, oh dear! I'm taking it. This isn't a staff. It looks like it's going to be the other one. Isabel Relaine. She's kind of dead. E letter from Isabel. My. D my dearest Radmir, by the time you receive this, I will be gone. I know that it's wrong to mislead you, but I didn't want you to prevent me from going. I know it's been hard on you, uh, both for both of us, struggling to survive. I hate to see the look in your eyes every time you think about how little the two of us have, and I know you're too proud to even say, to ever say anything. So I'm going to make it all better. I've talked to my friend Vex, and she's given me some advice. I know how to get something that will allow us to live happily without ever worry about money ever again. I love you so much, Ramir. You mean the world to me, and I only want you, want to see you happy. Worry not, I'll be home soon, Isabel. So, can I ask, why does she have it on him, on her, rather than leaving the letter for Ramir to read? Why would she? Why would you keep it on your person? I don't understand. Because assuming the next time she'd see him would be the time she'd have the money. Um. Pretty weird, but whatever. So that's that mini quest dealt with. Obviously, not going to work out too well for Ramir, but that is that, and that ties into Hobbs Fall Cave. And I didn't want to find Isabel's body, which I think is still there before the quest, so I didn't want to find that, and then I kind of spoil it in case she had no idea what was going on. But we've taken care of because there was another Winterhold quest we did relating to getting the money from Ramir to pay for his stuff. So it's two Winterhold quests out of the way, so we should be done with that a lot quicker than we were originally going to be. Oh, it's skeleton. Nighty night. Fool. You have nothing of interest. Why do you have nothing of interest? Next time, come with something of interest. Got a necromancer. Oh, no, you don't. Hey! Less of it. Some magicka. And another skeleton. You're a fool. Uh, Orc Skull. Yeah, again, it's uh, from the mod, isn't it? That's pretty cool. Uh, we've got the Bear of Markarth, which is a new book. I've not encountered a new book in quite a few episodes. So it's pretty cool, so you can just pause the video if you want to read it. Pretty short one, very nice, what I like to see. We've got the Book of Deirdre and Beggar Prince, we've got read both of them. We've got a chest. I'm with this gold scroll. Already know lightning bolt will take it anyway, just in case we haven't got it in our um, in our collection. Looks like everything over here. Very nice. It's nice coming across all these books that I've already read as well. It is quite satisfying knowing that we've read so many books. That was another arc, wasn't it? No, oh, an Argonian. Oh well. I think it's pretty cool seeing uh, different skeletons. Quite a cool mod. Obviously, it doesn't interfere with um, the gameplay mechanics. It's just a little bit of an extra feature 
I think it's pretty interesting. So, we got that. New spell. Spriggensap. Cool, this is actually a pretty good cave for us. We've actually managed to pick up quite a few things mm. of interest. Now I'm getting all my notifications again, even though I turned it on silent. Why? I don't know. Uh, let's see, how... How well are we doing? Where did we come from? There, wasn't it? I can't see. Where are we? Where's our character? Oh. Hey, hang on. I'm a bit confused. Maybe it leads back around. No, 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 no. No, you freaking don't. How dare you? How dare you think you can... Stop being a freak. Stop, stop. You're a novice necromancer. Hardly anything special, are you? You just look... <laughs> Take out the knife, don't you? Your magic is weak. You are weak. That's what you are. Uh, don't... Bone meal. I like the bone meal. What have you got? Uh, gold, mora tapinella. That's it. Alright. Keep on moving. Keep on rolling. So what I'm going to do is we are going to pick up this staff. Once we reach it. What does this lead? Ignore me. I'm just, I'm just going to wait. Oh, maybe it leads down to the bottom. Easy game. No problems. No problemos. Uh, take that and that. Like ingots. Ingots are my game. This son of a bitch. That was a bit of a fail. This guy's obviously going to be getting in my face if I don't use this the, the old Nordic way of using a weapon. Uh, take that, and take that, and take that. How are we doing on carry weight? Not too, doing too badly. Definitely make sure to clear it out sooner though. Sooner than later. Uh, when do we have a skill book? The Exodus. Which means a restoration, which is cool, because restoration is the hardest um, mage skill to increase. And one that we're going to kind of be using throughout the game, really. Alright, there's that. And we have Songs of the Return Volume 56, which I don't think they're very long, these ones. Just a couple of pages each. Yeah, there we go. So all there is to it. And we've read those two. Very nice. We've got an alchemy lab. We'll leave that for now. Oh, we got a, we got a, um, another unusual gem. Very nice. I didn't know there was one down here, but now we do. We've got a heartbeat, which is unknown to us. Take that. To stamina, to magicas, apologize. Um, that looks like everything. Right, quite a nice little hideout. Wait, oh, it's just a jug. For some reason I thought that was a vigorous magicka potion. I was wrong. But yeah, make sure you definitely um, check out down there. Don't surpass it. There's quite a few nifty little things down there. Right, we need to go out to where the paths cross, and then I think it's this way, isn't it? Yep. Whoa! Quite the collection of mages. Stop warding! Come on, that's the pussiest spell you can use. See? See what I mean? As soon as you let your guard down, ooh. you were you were down, down in the dust. Necromage. Sit down. You have no match for me and my Archmage status. Alright, we got that. Um, Enchanter's Prime, which obviously is an enchanting book. Clues in the title, really. So we're at level 45 of that. Wow. We're actually going through a lot quicker. I doubt we'll have anything to disenchant, but we'll just check anyway. Oh, um, because of doing the magic, we'll do that. There we go, another increase. I mean, that's obviously a unique weapon, I need to remember to drop that off in the chest. So we're definitely not getting rid of that. Because it'll destroy it. 
Ash pile, uh, don't need that, don't need that. Gold, like a gold, might as well just eat it. Skeleton, nothing of interest. A couple of burnt bodies on stakes, that's just, you know, lovely. Uh, okay, we got extreme healing, excellent. We're getting a lot of magic potions from here, which, you know, I am not complaining about at all. Like, I am happy. Happy, chappy. Got an apprentice lock chest. Easy game. Gold. Yeah, yeah. All good. All good. Let me up. Let me up. Just healing. Very satchel. Large endless. We've already had that. All that. That. Oblivion Crisis is a new book. So you can obviously pause the book, which I think uh, pause the video I meant. I think is a, a recap of the events of the previous game in the Elder Scrolls series, which is obviously Oblivion. I'm not too sure because I've never played it. I've seen gameplay of it. Um, I don't know. I will play it at some point, I think. Maybe I'll even do it on this channel at some point. I don't know. Apparently it's very well acclaimed, though. As being one of the best. Especially for the um, Dark Brotherhood storyline of that game. Apparently it's really a um, decent game to sink your claws into. So maybe I'll play that sometime. But I've got enough on my chest at the moment with the series, so I don't know, maybe we'll start that up after we finish Skyrim. Not like that's gonna come around anytime soon. This game is bloody long. Uh where are we? Where are we going? Oh yeah, so it is leading back into this place. Alright, so nearly done. It was longer than I thought it was. I was pretty sure it was a shorter one, but I might be getting mixed up. For a second there I thought I heard a word wall, so Whoa, easy tiger. Ow. Give me a bloody second. Whoa, right, okay, we should do a quick save just in case. My freaking god. That was so bad. So, so bad. <laughs> oh my days. That was horrible. What have I just done that? What have I picked up? No, you can take that back, pal. Oh my days. That guy, the necromancer, he was actually devastating. Like, I'm not even joking, there's no better way to describe it. There is literally... I'm gonna cut all that out. I mean, there was quite a few expletives. Not gonna... Not gonna try and hide that. That was literally the toughest battle I ever had to undergo. It took bloody miracles... ...to do that. But, hey-ho. Who cares? Bethesda hates me. It's quite obvious at this point. But today is flu. Oh, that'll come in handy later. We've got a Grand Staff of Charming. Garnet, good. Yeah. There we go. Could have done with that Frost Archanak spell just then. But hey ho. That's the game it likes to rub it in, doesn't it? And an expert level um, lockpick just to rub things in. So, like. You thought this was bad? Ho <laughs> ho! Let's be as evil as possible. Oh, come on, you've just completely bollocked it. There we go, not too bad. Uh, you got nothing. You got nothing, hey! What a pointless lockpick. Okay, uh, I'll go and eat a score over there. Not interested. Thank you. Alright, finally done with this horrible place. Uh, damn this game. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I actually, like, my legs are aching right now from how hard I was just like, you stupid, stupid, like, in rage. Uh, let's see, what's this? South Brittle Shin Pass. Let's go from there and we'll make our way south to the next 
stuff should be down here yes this looks right I hope it's not in like some kind of Nordic ruin or anything I hope we could just pick it up and get it over with so it's a lookout for undead I don't think skeletons count I think it's just Draugr that counts as undead so that's why I didn't use it on the skeletons in there we got some standing stones over here I think I'm gonna go to that this looks like it's at some kind of watchtower, the actual staff. So, at least we'll be able to discover that along the way. Now, unfortunately, we move very, very slowly in the water. So, just gonna trundle by, pick up these standing stones. Maybe they'll be of interest, maybe it'll be something quite interesting for us and beneficial. Why do, I have, why do I have the feeling I'm going to doubt that? The Lady Stone. Those under the sand of the Lady regenerate health and stamina more quickly. No, that is not any sort of bonus for us. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Should we check this place out on the way? Might as well. Get it. Um, it's another, another place to fast travel to. If need be, not quite sure where it is though. There's quite a few bits over here. There's um, a cabin or a camp or something over there, over in this direction. There's a half moon mill. Don't know if there's any sort of quests here or miscellaneous things. I guess we'll just speak to the locals. Probably it's going to be like a farming or chop some wood or something like get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop in which case I'll be like okay let's do that then if there's any bloody place to cut the lumber that would be a start there's not even any like logs or anything oh is there some over here or is this just oh it's where this guy is oh gal hello What lo what locations does this mill supply? We supplied Falkreath to the south. Until recently, we supplied Helden. Falkreath trades with the surrounding holds, and without our wood, they would have trouble keeping their prices low. Do you get many guests? We have guests as often as we can, but there aren't a lot of travelers these days. The war keeps people off the roads. Okay. Uh, let's see the way, lady. Archmage coming through. So she's clearly a vampire of sorts or something, isn't she? Alright, come on. There we go. Yo, hello. Uh, yep, yep, okay. Um, it's usually just, it's either one or the other really when it comes to either um, farming goods or wood. So I'm going to assume that that's the only thing I'm going to do for her. I wonder if she's the only resident though. See, can we go in there? If we can go into Half Moon Mill, I mean, she might have, she probably has like a kid or something. Or a husband, maybe? No? No? Do you just live on your own? Okay, whatever. Um, have a good day, lady. Alright. Okay, alright. Okay, alright. Um, let's head down over here. Pick up this staff. We've got some Imperial soldiers coming through. At ease, at ease. Excuse me. I'm on your team. I was going to join you guys. Screw you. Screw you. No, no, I'm joking. We're still going to join the Imperials. Uh, what do we got over here? So where is this place? I mean, it's a broken down watchtower or something, isn't it? Where is that? Falkreath watchtower. Okay, cool. Um, take some wheat, sure. Take some snowberries. Take some snowberries. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? No, I don't want to move fast bloody healing. I want fire bolts, damn you.
You naughty necromage. That's what you get, you silly fool. Poor Khajiit lady. Hey. Hey. What are you doing all the way back there? Stuff a Tandil, take that. Um, that's that. He's going to be swamped with Steve's, this end theory. He must be behaving himself. Where did the Khajiit go? She, the people usually have a lockpick when they're dead. Chest. Um, what if the first council would doubt we've read that? So, of course, you can just pause the video. Oh, well. It's a pretty short one, anyway. Okay, I'll take that, take that, take that. Sounds good to me. How are we doing on the side? Ooh. Not doing too bad, actually. Did she fly over the edge or something? I don't know. Uh, freaking K. Well, we've done that. Is that. Clear is not clearable. No, it's probably not clearable, is it? Okay, uh, so we've got a couple of things to hand in. First of all, let's return to Winterhold and give the letter to that guy. What's it? I just had the clearing sound effect. Maybe that was that was it for there. Yeah, it was. Uh, see, see, I know these things. I freaking knew it. Hey, buddy. You right here. I thought you'd be in the thing. Uh, here, have a drink on me. Got any ale or mead? I got some outside wine. Yeah, have that. I have something for you. It's a letter from Isabel. You should read it. That's not supposed to happen. Please leave me alone. Hang on, let's try reloading that. Because I think we're, it's probably a mistake giving him the beer because he's usually meant to say something else. So, okay, let's give that another try. All right. Okay, forgive my family, they are a noisy bunch. Hey, hey, buddy, buddy, I want to give him the mead first because I think that might be a unique thing, and then. Yeah, take the mead. I have something for you, yeah. Nope, still. Right. Okay. Uh, maybe not. Yeah. We'll come back to her. I guess that's not doing anything. I don't know. I can't remember if he even does say anything. Maybe it's just gonna. He might not even say anything to be honest. Whatever. All right. We've got two staves to hand in to uh, end here. So we best have big pockets. We just had another clearing sound effect. What did we just clear? Or was that just a delayed one for the Falkreath Watchtower again? I don't know. Um, and there, and there, and the there. Hello? Here's, this, here's your staff. No, I'd, li I'd like the amulet, pl please. <laughs> here's the staff you wanted. Alright, well there we go. Inventory's been actually doesn't seem to really have changed much. Annual Perhaps we can go another few decades without a disaster. That would be nice. I've got the soul gem you're after. Do you? Wonderful. <laughs> I was afraid I'd have to give up. And when I'm so close. Thank you, Cletus. I have a great deal of work ahead of me. 
Alright, cool. How is your project coming along? Did you account for the uh, extra coefficient introduced by um Don't patronize the <laughs> Look, it's all very simple. The Dwemer, they were uh, masters of magic in a way we can't even begin to conceive of. Their greatest achievement, however, has also been their greatest, shall we say, mystery. Haven't they been gone a long time? Appearance, of course. Instant, unexplainable. The stories have fascinated me. Ever since I was young, I wanted to know what really happened. After years and years of work, I'm closing in on a way to investigate what happened through experimentation. Only now, well, it's simply a disaster. What went wrong? Without boring you with the uh, details, I'm attempting to recreate the circumstances of the event. The dwarves were very clever, tapping into and drawing power from the heart of Lorca itself. Lacking the heart of the dead god himself, I was attempting to substitute a rather specific soldier, the uh, one you helped me acquire. And that won't work? Well, yes, I mean, no. That is, it might, but I'm not completely sure. I'm no tonal architect. I've only read their writings, scraps, really. The soldier by itself isn't enough. It needs to be altered, purified. The dwarves had machines for this sort of thing. I've attempted to build my own, based on designs and using parts you helped to provide. My very own dwarven conductor. It worked, but not fully. And the, uh, the device was destroyed in the process. Can you build another? No, no, no! I'm too close now. Can't take the time. So, perhaps there's another option. May require further assistance. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to do? Well, yes. The designs for my convector were based on real dwarven machines, so there may still be some in existence. I go looking myself, but yes, there are calculations to double, triple, check. Uh, many calculations. Perhaps you could seek out these convectors in Skyrim ruins. I can even teach you the spell to heat them. It's very particular. Teach me the spell and I'll see what I can do. Wonderful. Just wonderful. I knew I could count on you. Now, this spell is not for defending yourself, but it's just right for heating the convector. At least three seconds burn is necessary. Just place the soul gem inside and heat the convector. At least three seconds. You'll almost certainly need to find multiple convectors. I suspect it may be due to the nature of the soul gem versus the crystals this was intended for. It destroys the equipment process but ah uh, it's effective three times and the crystal should be ready for the next step isn't this exciting mm -hmm. so perhaps we can go another few so do we learn that new spell then uh destruction yeah annual convection so it's not a defending spell of such so it's more just for the it's lies, all of it. I don't care what she told you. For heating the convectors. Who are you talking about? For all her. Don't act like she didn't say anything. I know her. I know what she's been up to. What's your problem with Feralda? My problem with her? She's the one who has a problem with me. She's threatened by me, by my skill as a wizard, by my elegance and posture, by my superior good looks. I won't let her get to me one bit. That's what she's up to. She's trying to undermine my confidence, make me doubt myself. Well, it won't work, I tell you. No, of course not. Mm -hmm. Arcano is exactly why we're so restrictive about access to the college. We all have Yeah. I don't, don't we can speak to anything, can we? No. Uh, that's everything. <laughs> 
It looks like he's dead for that stance. Alright, uh, we're done up here. We'll end the episode if we'd, we have talked to Onmond. Mm-hmm. Here's your amulet. Alright, and now we get on as a follower as well. And guess what you got a reward for uh, dealing with Jazago? Yeah, let's just get all these off. I think. Yep, nothing of interest. Yep, yep, yada yada yada. Tis, I agree with you on that statement. Is there anything I should be aware of? Alright, and that starts with the after show, the one that I said in the last episode that I wasn't quite sure how long it was going to take. And um, right, so we've got a new, couple of new quests to deal with, part three of our Neil's endeavour. Not the chance to try them out yet, buddy. Okay. There we go. So we'll obviously deal with our two quests ongoing. So we have two warp soul gems up around Druidat readout that we can use. We have a rupture, which is just around here, which we'll be able to do easily. And then some other um, conductors around Mazulft. So it should be good. Um, anyway, so uh, this episode might be going a little bit over. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to be. I mean, record for 43 minutes, but I know I'm going to cut out quite a bit from that asshole of a mage. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be sure to share the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.